Let's leave that story now and move to another one. This time, a former Mozambican finance minister, the one known as Manuel Chang, has been handed over to United States officials and is expected to face fraud and corruption charges. Spokesperson for South Africa's Justice and Correctional Services Ministry, uh, Crispine Firi, uh, said Chang was detained, uh, who was detained in South Africa by police at Oarutambo International Airport in December 2018, was surrendered finally to the United States yesterday. Now, according to uh, Piri, both the U.S. and Republic of Mozambique have requested Chang's extradition on various charges. Uh, he was arrested following what had been called Mozambique's biggest corruption scandal, leading to its economic collapse. He was accused of swindling billions of rand, which, of course, you know, were allegedly used to purchase a tuna factory, uh, approximately about $2 billion. Dollars. Um, in 2022, 11 people, including Armando Ndambi Guebuza, the son of former Mozambican president Armando Webuza have uh, been convicted for their role in the scheme. Uh, this morning, we are joined by public affairs analyst and lecturer of international relations, Alberto Chipande, uh, University Wilka Diaz. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we'd like that you unmute your device. I think it's uh, still muted, so we can hear you clearly. We hope the connection is also good enough. Uh, for this con conversation. Uh, and, and let's get into it and talk about, you know, Mr. Manuel Chang. Shocking story there. Uh, and and um, I, I don't know, you know, what the reaction has been like, you know, since his extradition to the United States. Uh, so I, I don't know, you hear me right now? Absolutely. Yes, we can. Absolutely. Yes, we can. Yes. Um, so, uh, I think the most part of the Mozambican people or the civil society here in Mozambique uh, want to Manuel Chang go to the, to the U.S. because we know the, our justice here in Mozambique, how it functions here. So, the better, best thing for the most part of the civil society is U.S. for Manuel Chang. But um, for the government, this is the not uh, a good news because Manuel Chang is one a very important person to the um, to the whole government here in the time of the ex-president um, uh, Armando Gebuza, uh, and uh, we have uh, some some parts of the uh, this story because uh, Manuel Shang is the is from the party in the in the in the power right now. If you see Manuel Shang is one part of the Frelimo party, so that is one a big problem for that because. If you go to the U.S. and uh, talk for some other names, maybe are created some problems. And we will see in this year, next year, there is one uh, election here. So maybe have the, some problems for the party in the government right now. So uh, the government of the state of Mozambique uh, spent a lot of money uh, to try to push Manuel, Tain, Manuel Shang to here from, from Mozambique. But... Uh, don't give uh, don't give nothing uh, with that uh, that money because uh, the the final decision of the South Africa justice is Manuel Shang going to the uh, to the U.S. Uh, right now. So we have uh, so many expectation uh, about this process. One part uh, have the expectation Manuel Shang talk more names because uh, we believe he is not alone on this process. So it's very important, maybe if we have a cooperate with the U.S. government to give more names, or uh, on one part, the other part, maybe it give uh, the loyal for uh, uh, for the other parts of the that stories and don't give any name, not cooperated with the U.S. government. But we have other risk at this time because uh, maybe if Manuel Shang uh, cooperated uh, with. Uh, the U.S. government, we doesn't know uh, what is the, the lines of the, that deals, and maybe open uh, one big problem and big uh, trouble for the our uh, state functions right now. Hmm. Uh, it, it seems to be a complicated issue. Um, Manuel Chang, of course, many times uh, Mozambicans have been hoping that he is tried at home, but it never comes to pass. He's always um, not getting um, the, the, the strong stick of the law. And now excitement is in the air because he has been extradicted to the United States, which uh, possibly seems that um, the law will definitely have a hold on him. But let me ask quickly, uh, you've mentioned it, although in, uh, in answering the first question, 
Um, do you possibly think that there are more people involved? And because of the involvement, that's why um, the law couldn't get a hold of him um, back home, even in South Africa. And now that he's extradicted, do you think that the law will definitely have its force on him, which would definitely lead to excitement in uh, uh, Mozambique for those calling for, for him to be persecuted? Of course, uh, I, I think we have more people inside of that process. It's not possible one person only have that responsibility to sign one paper for two billion dollars uh, in name of the state. It's not possible. We have rules here in our state. We have uh, some other people of the high level to to put that sig signature, not only signature, but to uh, give the the approval to go on with that process so i think i believe it's not not possible one person only have this all responsibility maybe uh, 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 this this is why this is the reason uh, of much part of the mozambican people have that that expectation because it's not possible we have the other names uh, to give that approval we have for example uh, the uh, the 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 have debit um, uh, scandal uh, uh, the judgment for example uh, at the, the last years we have the the son of the uh, ex president uh, uh, Armando Mido Gebuza we have the other names but I believe this is that persons uh, around that process the, of last years is not only uh, the the it's not the the basically uh, the basically the persons to to solve at that case or to find the problem at that case this is this is the part of that case so we need to find who has who have the uh, the, the head of the snake where can i say <laughs> where uh, uh, find the, um, the the voice to give that approval and manu shang sign that documents because we believe we have more names inside of that process and maybe if manu shang uh, give or talk about that names we have big scandal in the future and maybe uh, that persons and the party have the the big problems uh, are in the our society but uh, why can i say in, in the in the first uh, in the first uh, intervention uh, mozambique justice sometimes is not uh, impartial we have to uh, see uh, if you see the the, the our history uh, we don't have uh, the separated powers with the uh, government uh, with the justice and this sometimes is the one very big problem i believe it's not only in mozambique but in most part of the our countries in the africa continent we see the same problem so yes what can i say right now all right uh, we of course wish mano chang all the best um and of course you know for those in zimbabwe who are you know seeking justice and uh, and uh, for everyone who was involved in this fraud to be named, I hope that that also happens. Many would question you know, the, the involvement of South Africa. And of course, you know, a lot of people would still say that he should have been tried in Mozambique. But um, it is what it is. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Diaz. We'll be seeing you again. Thank you. All right.